you, you had said of, of President Bush that he doesn't care about black people. And you, you've heard some people say that about this president. What do you, how do you respond to that? What do you make of that? I think we need to care about all people. And I believe that when I went on to NBC, I was very emotional and I was programmed to think from a victimized mentality, a, a, a welfare mentality. I think that with, with <clears throat> blacks and African Americans, we really get caught up in the idea of racism over the idea of industry. We say if people don't have land, they settle for brands. We want uh, Polo Sport and Obama again. We want a brand more than we want land because we haven't known how it feels to actually have our own land and have ownership of our own blocks. So when you don't have ownership, then it's all about how something looks. It's about the patina, it's not about the soil, it's not about the core. So we focus more on, does somebody wearing something, does someone disrespect me so I gotta, I gotta shoot them? Or the idea of someone being racist. You know, we talk about uh, police uh, uh, murders, which we definitely have to discuss and we have to uh, bring nobility to the, to the police officers and make them, because police officers are just like us. But this is this whole hate building, right? And that's a, a major thing about racial tension. And we also, as black people, we have to take a responsibility for what we're doing. We kill each other more than uh, police officers. And that's not saying that the police officer is not an issue because they are in a place, a position of power. Uh, but sometimes they're in placement of law enforcement, they need to be law power. It's force versus power. When you have, you shouldn't have to force people to do that. So a lot of times a police officer is sitting there, they're being forced to do this and forced to do that block, and then they force somebody into something and force something. We have to release the love throughout the entire country and give opportunities. A lot of times it's just the overall lack of reparations that we, at any given point, we say, oh, this is racist, this is racist, this is racist, this is racist. So we don't have the reparations, but we have the 13th Amendment. We got to open up the whole conversation. So, and uh, that's a move, one of the moves that I love that liberals tried to do, the liberal will try to control a black person through the concept of racism because they know that we are very proud, emotional people. So when I said I like Trump to like someone that's liberal, they'll say, oh, but he's racist. You think racism can control me? Oh, that don't stop me, that's an invisible wall. That's, that's, but you don't think 